Hey, we're talking 2012 Rail Fest, and now, Ron Mock, you came up with this seven years ago, and why? Was it to educate youngsters, educate adults, and the rich history here at, in Dayton with the trains? What was it? It was really my wife's idea. Yeah? She figured I needed something to do to get out of the house. <laughs> we thank Mrs. Mock very much for this. But, Ron, now talk about what's happening Saturday and Sunday. What are you guys going to be doing? Well, Saturday and Sunday, the seventh annual Rail Fest, right. you can come down here and see a whole bunch of train layouts. We got a great big uh, 40 by 120 foot tent with vendors selling railroad stuff. You can come down and ride the train, take an excursion back in time, get to uh, feel what it was like years ago when the trains were running through here on a regular basis. Plus, see all the historical exhibits here at the park. Yeah, and speaking of, trains go way back here in Dayton in the Miami Valley. Absolutely. There's a really rich railroad history in the Miami Valley, and we celebrate that history here at Carillon Park every day throughout the year. And we have an original 1903 Barney and Smith railroad car built in Dayton. We have locomotives that were built and used in the Dayton community. So it's just a fantastic place to enjoy a railroad festival and also learn about our region's important history. And still important. Trains are still very important. And you have an exclusive here for us. What do you have, Ron? Right. What do you got? We have a new addition down what here. It? What is it? There it is. Go, right. for it. Go for Go it. it. Oh, look, we got Thomas here. You know, the kids and Thomas. Gets the young kids interested in it, and we hope that it carries over into adulthood. All right, now what's the time in this whole thing? When's this all happening? Sure, 9.30 to 5 on Saturday the 23rd, and then noon to 4 on Sunday the 24th. And it's our regular park admission fees to get in. That includes admission to the rail festival, and then there's no extra fees to ride the trains this weekend due to an anonymous donor. All right, WDTN.com. Go to Booker's Beat for more information. And before we go, can we do the train whistle? Now that right there is a manly whistle. Go for it. Huh? What do you think of that? Here, hey, check this out, folks. All right, maybe not so manly. Then what, what the heck? And some would say how appropriate. At any rate, here at Carillon Park, we'll see a rail fest. Jim Booker, 2 News.